Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making spaghetti in a bolognese sauce. Alright, I'm starting out here on my large skillet and I have that heating up. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in here. Get that nice and uh, hot. Alright, now here on this plate, while that's warming up, I have one large onion, I have one clove of garlic chopped, and I have four slices of bacon that I cut into like half inch pieces. I'm going to go ahead and fry all this until the onions and garlic are sauteed and the uh, bacon is crispy. Alright, my onions, garlic, and bacon are brown. I set them aside. Now, in the same uh, frying pan, I'm going to fry up a pound of ground beef. And I'm also going to fry up a pound of let me get this out here. A pound of brown sausage. And I'm going to fry this until it's brown. Alright, my ground pork and my ground beef are brown and I drained off the excess fat. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my onion, garlic, and bacon mixture. And if you don't have a large skillet like this, you can transfer this over into a Dutch oven or a big pot. I'm also going to add in a 6 ounce can of tomato sauce. I'm just going to cook my sauce right in this frying pan. Because it's going to get over. A 28 ounce can of whole pear tomatoes, juice and all. And this will cook down. I'm going to add in a half a cup of chicken stock or broth. Now this calls for half a cup of uh, white dry wine, but all I have is white cooking wine, so that I'll have to do. I'm going to add a half a cup of that in. Okay. I'm also going to add in eight ounces of sliced mushrooms I sliced up. One stalk of celery and two carrots that I diced up fine. A half of a teaspoon of dry basil. Almost went overboard there. All right. A half a teaspoon of dried oregano. Put it back in there. And some salt and pepper. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of each in here. Turn my heat back on and head off there for a minute to about medium. I'm going to stir this all up. Now this here you should let simmer for about an hour, but I don't have that much time today. I'm going to let it go for about a half hour. And I'll probably have to go in there and break them tomatoes up a little bit. Now I'm going to put a cover on this and let this simmer and do its thing. Alright, my bolognese sauce is done, and it went for just a little bit over a half hour. And those tomatoes, they cooked down so much, I just went on with my spoon here and broke them up a little bit. Now I went ahead and I boiled up a uh, pound of spaghetti, and I'm just going to dump that right here in this uh, frying pan right over top of this bolognese sauce and mix it in there. And like I said, if you don't have a big skill like this, you can uh, put your sauce in a Dutch oven and put your spaghetti in there. Okay, let's go ahead and serve this up and uh, see what we got. All right, I'm going to finish this off by topping it with some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. All right, there you have it. Spaghetti and bolognese sauce. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.